Hello, fans of Disc Jockey Productions and others just seeking out my server. This is my video on the Disc Jockey Production server. A little laggy. My computer's uh, doing a lot right now, actually. Processing another video, recording this one, server, downloading some stuff. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, we're starting off right here at spawn, and uh, rules and regulations, no griefing, no access friends, stealing from other players, no spamming, spawn eggs, don't talk about fight club, don't talk about fight club, uh, rule 6, have fun, we have all our warps here you can use, um, no one can break spawn unless permitted, we got a full permission set up, we come in here, we have a trading system. This is Hayden's farm over here for his shop. It's private. No one can use it. Uh, we got a beacon. That should be close. As you see, we got speed and regeneration for everyone within the reach of spawn. No PvP is permitted within spawn. No mob spawn within spawn. No, they can enter. Mobs can't enter. This is no longer um, Skeleton Canines. He lost his business. Uh, it, it, it was sold, there's a cat, it was sold to, uh, the Buttermaster. There's Robert's horse and my horse, and no, the horses are cheated in because if we accidentally, um, killed all of them three times, we accidentally killed every animal in the, with the command, but the armor is not cheated in, we found that in a dungeon. Uh, usually there's horses in here. They're free to the public, public, and I guess Robert sells the leash now. They used to be free, but probably have problems with that. Next door coming up is Robert's personal shop, the Smitty, as you say, see in the see down there. It says, "Here's the Buttermaster now." Hello, Robert. C and Bill repairs for Nogation. He sells iron golem kits. This. Uh, wither skulls. He kind of went all wither with this shot. Down here is the uh, it's the bottom of the shop where he sells all these different goods. We're not going to go into detail with it, but there it is. Um, I guess I'll show you my house. I decided to prank Robert one day, and uh, my house is behind here, which I'm not going to show you. This is my private place. Anyways, Robert, get out of the way. It's a no PvP area, which will say on my. Huh. Anyways, next is my the bank here. It's mine, but it's also the city's. Ten dollars start account, five dollars a leak, one dollar for ender chest. You have unlimited storage. Uh, there's with back here. You have to pay for it, for the service, but uh. There's a withdrawal to sign and deposit sign because if you die on the server, you lose all your money. Usually this be locked, but currently everyone on the server has a bank account, so it's not locked. Uh, we also have unlimited storage down here. And those withdrawal and deposit signs, if you're caught making any, which I'll see in the log, it's two days in jail because we don't want... I couldn't get rid of the command for people to make them for some reason, but we don't want people making their own signs. Next is Hayden Shop. Hayden currently has a uh, uh, internet problem, so he's not here to join us. It's a nice little shop here. It's named the Haunted Bakery. You didn't see when we came in. There it is, the Haunted Bakery down in the chat box. 
Uh, he has cookies here, 10 cents for a dollar, plenty of bread. You can't open this chest. I'm the owner, so I can easily bypass it. Uh, our server usually does not allow anyone under the age of 12 or 13, but sometimes we allow it if we feel they will help the community. Mm, here's my shop. I got a lot of signs. We sell XP. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of enchantment books. Here's Miss Mir Whiskers, the cat, sh the shop cat, the black cat from a potion shop. Hurting Mr. Whiskers, Whiskers will result in jail time. A lot of jail time. If you hurt him, it's two days. If you kill him, it's a week. Uh, here's a lot of the potions we have for sale right now. Enchantment books, I'll show you. Yeah, all legit. Oh, that was an experiment I was trying to win. It was a really bad experiment. I was trying to get a witch for the shop. Didn't think about how it would hurt people. And yes, if you're in the shop, if you decide to, you can come in here. This, I have no private signs in my shop because of their, no one can come behind this counter. Because of this little glitch, I implement it. So if you come in here, it'll immediately push you out. I got my enchantment for sale. Not too much cheated in here, but there is some. Oh, right, one thing I forgot the bank. Uh, yes. Back here at the bank, lumber prices. We sell lumber. 20 cents more for logs, so not a bad price. 20 cents off for members. If you're a member of the bank, I'll probably remove that since uh, almost everyone is a member at the bank now. It used to be it wasn't very popular, but now you kind of have to. Uh, oh wait, don't wanna. I guess you're gonna get a brief sneak peek behind the counter for just a second. Uh, here's my lumber yard. Pretty big. It's the biggest building in the whole thing. I got a level for everything. Yes, let's go back in here. Lag. Uh, over here. Oh, this was a prank I set up to prank Robert to spam a message. I guess some of Hayden's stuff died, but he did have a private. Wait. Alright, I'm in spawn. Uh, that's an example. Nothing can hurt you in spawn. Uh, this was part of his shop over there. Here's a mine for the community. It is probably the most dangerous mine in the map, but it's there. A bridge that leads nowhere. Pretty nice. That is uh, almost it for the rest of the community. Right now, we have a big project. One of our new users has started another shop. So when you go to the community nether portal, right back here, there's a warp within spawn if you don't know where it is. It's working on a community shop that sells basic supplies for the nether and nether materials for those who don't like being in the nether. Uh, if anyone joined recently, we have the Ender Dragon fight coming up really soon. We're preparing. We want to get as many people on the server so they won't miss out. So, Doug's Black Potion. I guess I'll show you the outside of Admin House. You warp here, you take damage for some reason. Wow! That extended away. Anyways, we got the steps here leading up to the Admin House. None of us really live in it. Except Hayden, which I think Hayden moved out. Yeah, he moved out. We got a nice waterfall here. Uh, it says, hell yeah for us. Anyone else that'll push you, you can't even get near that in the house. I'm going to provide you a brief look inside through the windows. I'm not going to let you see within the steps. But yeah, it's a nicely designed house by Hayden. We might improve it, but it's just a place for admins. We don't really have much there yet, but we will. I will have... Hmm, I guess he was AFK. I will have a video up soon for, uh... Fight Club. Don't talk about Fight Club. That's the rule. Oh, there he is.
Anyway, that's just about it for the server. Uh, if you ask admins after you build stuff, you can own your own plot. Maximum is three plots, but the plots can be as big as you want them. Anyways, that is it, and goodbye YouTube. I hope you like this video.